Welcome to Wednesday Wanderings. My name is Mark Long, rector of the parish of St Andrew in Newlands, Cape Town. Over the last few weeks, uh, as a parish in our Lane course, we've been journeying with Rowan Williams's book, God With Us. And Rowan has had some quite profound things to say. Uh, on one level, perhaps not necessarily new, but Rowan just brings a different perspective to the cross and to the resurrection. And for me, that has been really very life-giving. Uh, this week, we focused on the resurrection now, um, a sense of what the resurrection means for us as people of faith, as individuals within the church, for the church itself, um, in, in our present context and, and where we are with it. Rowan highlights the importance of human beings, that part of our understanding of our own existence is because God exists and the resurrection points to that existence and as we saw last week Jesus alive in our contemporary environment and the need to really embrace that and, and live that out means that we need to take our humanity seriously God took it seriously in Jesus we need to take it seriously and we need to take seriously too the gifts that God has given us that they're not for personal use as it were not not that God doesn't want us to enjoy the lives he's given us and, and the gifts and skills that we have but a real sense that we need to be focusing those outwards and asking how the gifts, particular gifts that we may have, both as individuals and as communities, uh, how that can be a transforming, life-giving, creative force in the communities that we're part of, the society we belong to. And so an important question there. Uh, Rowan too, too talks about the importance of prayer. And I think too often uh, my prayers tend to be very petitional uh, a lot of the time it's it's really wanting God to respond in a particular direction that I think God should be working um, or dealing with people's lives or situations that we live with. And not to say there isn't place for that, but that actually if we're to take the resurrection seriously, it's to create a space in our lives where that life-giving creative force of God can truly work. And Rowan points out that that is in in silence. It's in drawing aside, it's in those meditative, even contemplative spaces where we just allow God to be God and allow God to be God in us and allow that contemplative, meditative space to, to grow, I guess, into, into action that is revitalizing and renewing and restoring um, in the broader context in which we find our lives. So that's, that's a, for me, an exciting thought, that actually my prayer is part of the creative space. And it's part of God's creative space in my life and through me in my family, my community. So just to perhaps ask a question for reflection is, is how, how does the cross, how does the, and, and then the subsequent resurrection, how does that really impact on who I am, on who we are, on, on what we're up to. And, and what is it that God is calling us to? I'm, I'm very aware as we've come, as we continue to work through this space of COVID-19, um, and we're, we're in an easier space with it, at least in terms of understanding um, and, and being able to have some interpersonal interaction as well as our ongoing online, as, as this video is, um, interaction. That, that we really need to be considering um, what it is that God is calling us to be in this time as God's people. The temptation, and I find it within myself, uh, particularly as we've returned to some in-service, in-person services, is it's quite easy just to go back and re-embrace what was. But COVID has changed things and has opened up a space for us to really consider what may be. And part of Williams's point about the resurrection is that it reminds us that life can change. Um, reminds us that in fact, you know, creation, God brought life out of nothing. Um, that when death impacts on our life, you know, things end. But God brings something new out of that. And so what is it that God is bringing out of the death of COVID-19? Uh, out of the death of lockdowns and having to cast aside, particularly perhaps as church, so many of the, the rituals or understanding of aspects of our rituals that we, we kind of held as non-negotiable previously and discovered that actually um, so much can change. 
And so what is it, not only about life, but about the rituals that we, we follow, uh, the way we do faith, that we do life. Um, what are the opportunities that COVID-19 has opened up for us in those areas? And how are we responding to that? And, and what are we doing with that going forward? Uh, I use the word we, but I'm underneath that all asking the question, what am I doing? Um, what are the things that I'm holding on to and hoping will return that may not be conducive to actually life beyond COVID-19? Um, it's, it's good to hold to some things of the past, and Scripture speaks about uh, bringing out treasures old and new. Um, but if we're to bring out new treasures from our present experience, there are some of the things we consider treasures of the past that just need to be let go. Otherwise, we're going to be, our lives are going to be too full, too busy, uh, too, too crammed with trying to do the old and the new together. And we need to make space for, for that newness. And I guess part of what I'm hearing from Rowan Williams's insights into the resurrection is the need to just create some silent space, space in which you and I stop and listen and uh, hear the promptings of the Spirit and cast aside those things that need to be cast aside and, and let them go, release them and release ourselves from them and embrace some of the newer things that God is doing and ensure that we continue to, to make space for those new things. And, and to allow the Spirit of God to work in and through them. Um, even if it's space that leaves us, perhaps, or certainly leaves me sometimes feeling quite discomforted, um, even uncertain, and, and certainly often anxious around them. But to trust that God is present, God is here, God is leading us, God is guiding us. And um, it's all part of the journey. So resurrection, an opportunity for life to change an opportunity to know that God is creating new things out of what has died and um, that there is life and opportunity in the newness that is growing in our midst.